Here are the top five stories you need to know about this Monday. Construction starts today along Bruce Road in South Chico, and that means major road closures. Reporter Camille Acevedo joins us live from Bruce Road. Camille, what should drivers expect? Some major traffic delays as well as closed roads. As you can see behind me on Bruce Road, this part is closed. Now, intersections that will remain open include Banner Peak Drive, Concord Avenue via Mission Drive, Beacon Street, and Remington Drive. Now, the estimated completion for this project is 15 to 18 months. So just keep an eye out as you're driving today and you're making your commute. Well, just keep an eye out for these road closures. I'll send it back to you in the studio, Kelly. A wanted man in Reading was arrested after running out of gas. Police say Tyler Mullen led police on a chase along Interstate 5 Sunday. The vehicle ran out of gas near Weed. Police say he was wanted after a domestic dispute while traveling through Reading. They say he's not from the area and was also wanted in Washington for eluding police in a stolen car. New details about a car crash last week. A senior citizen died after a runaway trailer slammed into a business where she was sitting inside. The CHP tells us 74-year-old Diana Floyd of Anderson died Saturday. The crash had happened two days earlier on Deschutes Road near Balls Ferry Road. The CHP said a flatbed trailer detached from a pickup and slammed into the address listed as Balls Ferry Mini Storage. The truck was driven by 86-year-old William Shaw of Anderson. Police in Chico arrested a man who they say is a serial robber who they say was involved in three armed robberies this month. Police say the most recent robbery was Sunday at the Valero Market on Park Avenue. The suspect waved a gun, demanded money and took the clerk's car keys. An officer spotted the stolen car. They say the driver was Ryan Bradford, who ran off and was arrested after a brief standoff. And today, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear a case brought by homeless people in Grants Pass, Oregon, that could set a precedent for fining people for sleeping outside. It could affect how other cities like Chico deal with the homeless issue. Last month, the city of Chico filed an amicus brief with the Supreme Court supporting Grants Pass in challenging a lower court ruling. The court will decide if cities can fine or jail homeless people for camping in public.